my philosophy behind this system is the same as a clot layering system, right? Where you bring multiple layers and you can remove or add layers as needed. So this is exactly what I'm doing here, but for sleeping. Hi everyone, Adrian here and welcome to Wild Bush and Grit. So today this video, I want to go over my all season sleeping system. So over um, the years, I've been honing and refining uh, my sleeping system and adding, removing a couple of, I think last year, I actually talked about this here um, and during for my specifically winter and this year I actually started to optimize it a bit more and I'm carrying more and more gear when I'm going outdoor like to film uh, now I have a dog with me as well so more gear so I'm really trying to reduce bulk and weight uh, whatever I'm doing so even if I'm car camping uh, I have a Jeep not the greatest cargo capacity at all so I just need to save space and weight overall, all right? Before, you know, that, this is what I was using. You see how big, bulky, this is my that, this, uh, winter uh, sleeping bag. It's rated minus uh, 30 Celsius, minus 22 Fahrenheit. And, you know, the size. Also, I was carrying this here. This is a mattress, excellent insulation. You know, it's R, no, 11.4 in R value. So this video is not against this gear. No, this gear served me well. I just need less in weight and space, okay? The only thing that stayed with me over time is the man, the first layer that I'm carrying. And essentially what this does is it insulates you, your entire platform from the cold ground. Uh, in winter, but it's also summer. You know, I think summer is a bit underestimated because it's warm, uh, it's, uh, you know, during the day, you have the heat waves and whatnot. But at night, as soon as the sun goes down and you're sleeping, you'll see how quickly you can actually lose your heat through the, um, through the ground if you don't have a proper insulation to begin with, you know, under your sleeping bag. So this is always with me. Uh, for my winter system now, what do I use? So you'll see I have a lot of snack pack item with me. This is not a sponsored video. This is me buying gear over time. I actually like um, the brand. I think they have good, honest product, reasonably priced. Uh, they're not the cheapest, you know, this is not like Coleman uh, value stuff. If you're looking for Coleman price, don't look into snack pack. But uh, actually, I think snack pack is one of the supplier for the British Special Force SAS. I think, I'm not sure, I, I think I read that somewhere, but anyway, I just attest to the quality of their gear. Yet reasonably priced, so this is what I, I'm after. I like their bag, you know, all, most of their bag actually have, have a compression system, so you can pack things, but you can even like tie things down a little bit further to save that cargo space that is, you know, that, <laughs> that I crave, actually. So let's go from the bottom all the way up to the top. So first layer, I'm using this. Second layer is I have to replace the Mondo King. Let me go back here. So to replace this thing, which has an awesome 11.4 R value, I'm using two product here from Snackpack and you have the Maxi Air Pad and the Air Pad. Let's go over these two quickly. So what I like about this one, this one brings comfort, okay? It has an integrated pump inside. You just open it, you can inflate the mat in a couple of minutes, and it gives you a good, I would say what, five, four to five inch in thickness. So on top of that ridge crest here, I'm adding um, the Maxi Air Pad from Snugpack. It comes with its own pump. Um, you can inflate that in a couple of minutes. This in itself doesn't have any R value, okay? Uh, theoretically speaking, it, it, I'm sure it has, but uh, it's minimal or negligible, I would say. Um, my true insulation, actually, you know, this has a lot of insulation from the ground, and then I'm gonna use this second here for insulation. And this is just an air mat which will inflate to about, you know, an inch and a half, two inch top, and provide also comfort, but most, you know, R value. I couldn't find a definitive, uh, I couldn't find a definitive 
uh, R value out there on your website, like a R for a uh, four R or five. But what I'll do, you know, like the combination of this, this, and this already brings you, you know, to a certain level. And on top of that, what I like to do is to add a wool blanket. And based on the season, maybe I don't need to bring the wool blanket with me, or maybe I'll just bring this and this with me, okay? And I'll leave this one at home. So uh, we, I can go over spring and summer setup in a minute, but the, my philosophy behind this system is the same as a cloth layering system, right? Where you bring multiple layer and you can remove or add layers as needed. So this is exactly what I'm doing here, but for sleeping. You know, I like to use a wool blanket. This is 90% wool blanket. This is a Rothko wool blanket. You can find similarly. And of course, you know, this works whatever the brand you're using. You can use mix and match, okay? It doesn't need to be snack pack or whatever. Uh, and for my winter sleeping bag, I'm using the Softy Antarctica. This one is rated minus 30 Celsius or minus 22 Fahrenheit. It has the same insulation as my previous one, this guy here, the Chinook Huntsman. And you can see in height sizes how much cargo space I'm saving. It's also much lighter uh, than the Chinook and they have the same rating. Now, one thing you need to know about sleeping bags is when they give you one rating, okay, like this one, minus 30, minus 22, it's at which temperature that thing will keep you alive, okay? It's not about comfort, no. When it's comfort, they will tell you, there's two ratings, this one has. So it goes to minus 30 Celsius, but in terms of comfort, what they say is minus 20. So at minus 20, you will be comfortable in that sleeping bag. At minus 30, you won't be comfortable, but you will not die as well, okay? How to make it minus 30 comfortable? This is where my layer system, you know, activate, so to speak. I can add an extra blanket, whether it's a wool blanket like I have here, but I also, can, I also have another blanket here from Snackpack. So you see the size of this blanket fold really nicely, very, uh, you know, dense as opposed to the wool blanket, which is actually quite heavy and more bulk, right? Yet there's an advantage to the wool. I like redundancy in some items and a wool blanket has a lot more uses, in my opinion. When wet, wool will retain a lot of its own um, insulation uh, properties, right? Not like uh, some of the uh, synthetic fiber. I did not get these wet, so I'm not sure I cannot speak to what happened to these when they get wet. Now, for, from winter to spring, what do I use? Of course, this, this are out. Early in the spring, I will, this always, okay? And I will use the air mat. So I will use one or the other, or maybe the, the two of them, depending. Once they're packed, you see how small they are, so it, it, it's not a big deal you know, to bring some extra. I like to keep a wool blanket with me at all time, no matter the season. And here I have a small sleeping bag. And this one is comfort to seven, if I'm not mistaken, and low to two degree. Uh, yeah, so low is two, but for comfort it's seven degree at night, which in spring is not uncommon, okay? So it can fluctuate, so sometime in spring it can go below uh, zero. But this is where, you know, having multiple layers actually help you increase your comfort. Uh, so just in size and space, you can see, so this is a minus 31 and this is the two degrees Celsius in terms of size. Super light, packed easily. The other advantage of having little um, gear, little items like that, is when you pack, you actually have more possibilities, you know, when you're packing your bags, you can play Tetris with all these blocks and have like a really nice, uh, densely packed backpack, for example, as if you're carrying those things, that's it, you know, it's, uh, you're stuck with the main bulk. So I find that a lot more versatile to bring little thing, even if you have redundancy. And for the dead of summer, you know, like mid-July, when it's really hot out there during the day, 
this always with me. I will bring maybe, you know, one air mat like this. This also comes with me sometime. And I also have, actually, you know what? Let me bring the other blanket. I'll not bring a sleeping bag in the middle of winter. Uh, sorry, in the middle of summer, I, will not, I don't carry a sleeping bag. I'll just carry blankets. And this stays home. And let me show you that blanket. So just for size comparison, this is a wool blanket and this is the snug pack blanket. And they essentially have the same property. The thing is I prefer this one in summer because it has that you know, nylon surfaces, which is kind of cool to the touch, which is nice. And very light. And very comfortable. So I will lay down this on the ground. I will add the air mat for comfort. I can lay this on the, uh, the, 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 the on top of this mat, so just for extra comfort and padding. And then I'll cover myself with this as I sleep. And in a nutshell, that's my sleeping system. The name of the game here is versatility. You know, okay, you have multiple gear to choose to choose from, and you can really tune it to your to your needs. You know, like how much can you carry? What are the uh, the weather? What, what's the weather is like? And you can really custom your every night, so to speak. Okay, that's it. Thank you so much for watching. If you have different opinion, if you're using other gear, whatever, I want to learn from you folks. You know, it's like today. Yes, I'm. And I'm armored with snack pack. I think they were making good honest gear. This is not a sponsor video at all, by the way. I don't know if I mentioned it before, but just saying again here, this is all my gear, my own money. And what's your favorite type of gear? You know, what, what is your go-to? I want to know. I might try it out and maybe in a year or two, this is going to be out the windows and I'll have a new set uh, for me here. So we'll see. All right. If you're not a subscriber, what are you waiting for? Please join us. And in the meantime, have fun out there. Be safe out there. And I'll see you in the next video. See you, folks. Bye-bye.